Hello, hello dears and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna where we share with you a lot of interesting and useful information from Benidorm town and Spain in general. In today's video we will be checking the dark side of Benidorm. I wanted to do this video for quite a long time and now my hobby is helping me because we will be heading to the zone that trust me you shouldn't be walking past by on your own especially in the evening time we are in the rincon de Loich area right now and are heading to the giant parking lot right near the hotel pueblo in benidorm where usually the sundays and wednesdays market is located and from here we will show you the zone that has gotten a lot of different news lately that's been in a sight of everyone because right now it's the worst zone of Benidorm. However, in only just a couple of years, it will transform itself completely to probably one of the best areas of the whole entire Benidorm town. But let's start from the very beginning. We are situated uh, only 500 meters from the hospital Ahmed Levante, which is a private hospital. You have a football camp right uh, near us, and this is where the local Spanish Sundays and Wednesdays market, as I've told you already, is located. Rincon de Loich is really, really famous for British type of tourism. There are also a lot of different apart hotels and um, just short-term rental options in this area as well as a big amount of different hotels and you can see some of them are already from here which is the hotel pueblo benidorm that's that um yellow-ish building in front and the hotel venus that is the one with the blue um terraces outside this is the big parking lot where the market is usually located it's only on Sundays and Wednesdays and the rest of the week this parking space is looking like this totally empty no cars are allowed to park in here so basically it's just an empty place apart from or better to say except from two days a week this road right here gives us the start of the dark area in Bindom there are a lot of the cars passing by in here however you will not see many people just walking by. This road and this zone is one of the most abandoned in Benidorm. Quite some while ago, there were a lot of different newspaper articles online that were saying that this zone is completely drowning in garbage and a lot of things that people are basically just throwing down here simply because there is no control whatsoever simply because there is not many tourists going on in here and there is not much to see here so why not no one will know that people threw something out by the way here there is located a huge base where they keep all the gas that people are usually taking they just come here they buy it it's way cheaper than to buy it on a gas station where they also sell those um so just a couple of euros worth of saving if you are coming here directly to pick it up and apart from this place the only things you will see on these streets by the way you can see people walking in pajamas right there like literally there are people walking in pajamas here they know there is no uh, tourist they know there is no um like usual people walking around in here they feel that it's like their zone it's their like oasis you know people who live on these streets um, they live in houses like this that are not usually the best quality. These are like abandoned houses that they picked for them up. They are normally not the owners of these houses. They are just living here um, while they still can. And this is the worst part of it. They're not uh, taking into consideration that these houses need to be reformed. They're not just doing anything to make this look any better. And you can see a lot of litter, a lot of garbage around, like bottles. You can see packaging of different stuff. The nature here is amazing. That's true. You can see a lot of plants, a lot of lovely flowers and trees, olive trees as well. Um, some kind of citrus, uh, citrical trees to almond trees. But apart from that, a lot, a lot of 
litter as you can see even right here the best news for this zone came last year when eventually Benny Dome's municipal hall has decided that it's time to do something with this zone uh, because they've seen that it's literally in its worst condition as it ever ever was and they need to make some changes because Benny Dome is growing more and more people are visiting our lovely Benny Dome town and there is not much more space left i would like to say in this case uh, so they decided see there is like oh my god there is so much garbage in here wow and these are like private entries see private entries to the houses that were abandoned but people are largely just living there because they can because they want to and you will not see oh look at this this is what this area has to deal with like people just throwing everything away it's just such a shame for the beautiful that this area can be. Uh, it's just a shame that it's in this type of state right now. Anyhow, all this is about to change very, very soon. Because Benidorm has approved a new plan to transform completely all this zone of Benidorm that you can see right now here on the screen that is totally abandoned um, all the houses are abandoned so it's not their property and all this land almost all of it uh, is of Benidorm's municipal hall like, look at this in front of us don't look at the garbage right now just look in front these views are spectacular like when and once, better to say, this zone will be transformed. These views will be the best thing of this zone ever. Uh, according to the new plan, which I will put you here on the screen right now, and I will put you a dot where we started the video, and um, there is a huge space of 575,000 square meters. Uh, of all this old zone uh, that will be totally totally refurbished and built from scratch uh, and the investment for it is 570 million euros which is a huge amount incredible amount to transform finally this area of Benidorm basically why it's done first of all because Benidorm is growing there is not much more space left in here Second of all, it's because they want to put uh, the final dot, they want to end the situation of this area, make it uh, safe for people to walk, to explore, uh, create way more living spaces for people, some more hotels, parking, uh, green zones, uh, any kind of uh, children's playgrounds, you know, even maybe pounds or like small uh, swimming pools for children to go in summer, parking places, commercial areas for different businesses, completely the opposite from what we can see right now. And the most important thing is to avoid so much litter in this place that it's just incredible. By the way, this zone is called Armaneo. Uh, just in case you want to search for the project by yourself and read the information in the Spanish newspapers, you can uh, read it and search it by Project Armaneo Le Rincón de Loich Benidorm or Project Armaneo Levante Benidorm. In any case, it will uh, pop up on your screen directly. The buildings that you can see here on the second uh, picture as well, the buildings will be really, really high with a lot of green areas and common areas, quality common areas, uh, as well as, very curious thing here, uh, it's more or less 2,000 um, apartments will be built in total, which is a huge amount. And the minimum height of these buildings will be 20 floors so less than 20 floors will not be allowed in here because Benny Dome wants to conserve the main aesthetics the tradition of Benny Dome which is basically big and tall skyline which is why 20 floors minimum is the uh, amount of floors that will be allowed to build uh, in here and maybe even higher buildings up until 25 or 30 or 40 laws that also exist here in Benidorm town also they will build and included in the project 600 protected apartments or protected uh, properties 
these ones basically will be given for people who need um, protection for families who uh, need any kind of temporary place to live for whatever reason it is uh, it's not a big amount 600 of them but still it's something to make the situation of many many families here better than they have right now um, in 2023 so next year they will start the project and by 2024 which is just in one year something time not even two years are left um, it's when the machinery and everything will enter to this zone of Benidorm and start working in here. So all these houses will basically be gone. Uh, all this road, all these beautiful gardens, which is the only shame for it, these beautiful gardens and plants that they are in here. Uh, but it's for the best since it's going to increase massively the reputation and the quality in this area of Benidorm that before was the worst and now it's quite probably it's going to be the best area to live in once everything will be over. Also, they will put some public transport in here and a lot of basic services like supermarkets um, for all people who will be living in this zone. So from 2024, a lot of changes are coming to Benidorm. The only bad thing that a lot of people did not like, those who visit Benidorm regularly or have their properties, their houses here, was the Benidorm's Sunday market. As you all could have seen, it was for decades and decades located on this huge parking lot uh, that is just a perfect space for this Benidorm's market. However, in the new plan, this area is totally transformed and there is no space left in here for this market, which is why a lot of people were saying that it's the only bad thing about this project because people are so used to it. All the tourists know where to look for it and change it to a different location may not be good for both tourists, locals and for the businesses that work on this market. However, in the last changes that were done just a couple of weeks ago, um, this project has assigned three possible spaces for Benito Market and they are only a couple hundreds of meters away from its original place, which is the best news ever. So now everyone are happy with this project, both locals um, and those who are creating this project, as well as the municipal hall. And it definitely will be something that is worth checking. By the way, those of you who are planning on investing in a property in Benidorm or are planning to buy a property in Benidorm, this area might be just a perfect place for you to invest your money that you so hardly worked for, as all of us do. Um, however, you will need to wait more or less one and a half years up until all... Wow, so many cars in here uh, suddenly. Up until all the projects are official and up until all the architects and promoter companies will publish all these projects and calculate the prices, uh, put everything that you need to see before you decide to purchase any kind of property here. But these modern style buildings, tall buildings, skyscrapers in Benidorm, if you wish, will have amazing views towards mountains that are surrounding Benidorm. And if you are picking up the tallest floor, it's quite probable you will catch some views from the Levante beach as well. And these buildings will be energy friendly. They'll not consume so much of electricity. Um, they'll be neutral for the um, atmosphere. They won't have so many uh, bad materials that are just uh, harming all the surrounding environment. So it's just going to be really, really interesting to see how this zone will transform itself completely as you can see there are a lot of empty spaces in here basically these are just gardens that were abandoned old houses that were abandoned as well and the municipal hall has managed to buy it for a really really cheap price from the old owners so the only bad thing about this area about this zone i would dare to say is the opposite side of it which is where we are heading right now because on here so the first side you've seen is in rincon de Loge. it's a really lovely area once everything will be cleaned and tidied up but this area which is where the end of it is going to be 
uh, is where we have a lot of nightclubs right now. You can see it already. This is one of the main roads to go to Benidorm from Albir or Altea. This is like uh, not a national road, but one of the um, most important ones. Uh, and here we have a lot of um, fun things to do. They have go karts, for example, here like karting place. Uh, you have different nightclubs and pubs, and there are even clubs that are open all the entire morning. So, th like this one, for example, like this one, Ku, that you see in front, uh, this place is open up until 3 p.m. during daytime, this is basically. Um, and it's like an after party place. So, they will definitely need to do something with this zone of the um, nightclubs and celebrations. Uh, because if it will be the case, not a lot of people will want to buy properties here if you will have music going on throughout all night and the whole entire day. However, I do feel that with a project that is 570 million euros worth, um, they will not risk and definitely put some norm and some changes on this area, some restrictions, better to say, so that people who are buying these properties see there's even like erotic places, like places where there's some dances and stuff. Um, they will definitely do something to limit these activities or even take them out of here because this place is basically almost abandoned as well. Um, and take them to other place, just buy this uh, piece of land so that people would not need to see um, all these nightclubs at night and without the possibility to be getting a good night of sleep or even calm and quiet morning time. So I think definitely something will be done in here to ensure that this project is a complete success. Which is how the darkest side of Benidorm, the filthiest probably area of Benidorm, will transform itself to the best area of Benidorm probably to live in and to invest your money if you are thinking and planning on doing so. Thank you all for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed checking and discovering this new zone of Benidorm that we have never ever showed you before and we will see each other tomorrow with a new video from our lovely and sunny country of Spain. If you're coming on holidays, I wish you to have some fun and have an amazing stay. Bye!